We want you to be successful in getting your message across. But sometimes it may be more about building your ethos through hard work rather than just using the tricks of the trade to gain followers quickly. In my own case, as a researcher on rhetoric, I was concerned about how government agencies were missing the potential to communicate with their constituencies with new Web, Web 2.0 technologies because they were relying on old strategies of public diplomacy, social marketing, institutional branding, and risk communication. I had a blog and used Twitter and Facebook to try to get my message across and often used humor and satire to lob zingers at people I saw as stupid policymakers. Then I published a peer-reviewed book from a scholarly press. Most people didn't read it because it was an academic tome with 50 pages of endnotes, but it did get the attention of people in the media and ultimately in the administration at the White House. That turned out to be a more effective way to argue my case that the public deserved more transparency, not less, as the era of mass communication was changing. TV and radio allowed me to assert that persuasion was different from deliberation and that there was a conflict of interest when the government was both a regulator and a content creator. How will you get your own message across? Let's do some practice with a not-so-fictional scenario. Over the years, I've discovered that parking is an issue about which many UC students harbor passionate feelings. Suppose administrators at your UC campus decided to reduce the number of student parking spots, perhaps to make more room for faculty parking places for people like me who really can't be late to class. How might you address the issue? So here's some possibilities. A, write a letter to the editor at your campus newspaper. B, write an email to the chancellor. C, create a Facebook page. D, write a press release announcing a protest event. E, create a poster for a research presentation. All of these strategies imagine engaging with publics in different ways and using different kinds of speech acts in the interest of persuasion. I think some strategies are more likely to work than others. What do you think?